In this video, we are going to use 3D Sketch to create a sweep. Here are a couple of examples. This is a uh, simple pipe or hose shape, uh, sort of standalone, not attached to anything else. Here is another one, which in this case is attached to a block. Starts up here at this sketch and then makes its way around uh, to that face along that 3D Sketch. Uh, before we dive into that, though, let's back up just a little bit. Uh, let's look at sort of the progression from the simplest part that we might have. This is just an extrusion. It is a single sketch, a one-inch circle with an offset of 125 so that we have a, uh, a wall for this pipe. And then it is extruded 8 inches in a single direction. If we need to add some bends to that part, that is where sweep comes in. My first sketch is again the one inch circle with an eighth inch wall thickness. And then for my second sketch, simply sketched on another plane and drew a line down, an arc, a couple more lines and arcs to blend it all together. And that is the path for this sweep to follow. Uh, but when we get into 3D sketch, now we have the option to go in multiple directions through space again starting with a uh, 2d sketch here an outside diameter and a wall thickness and then a 3d sketch that is the path uh, that that shape follows as we create our sweep uh, so let's start a new part and look at how we go about creating this uh, 3d sweep just a standard part working in inches we will start with a 2D sketch. Let's use the XY plane. We'll draw a circle, make it one inch, draw another circle inside it, and put a dimension between them. We'll give that a 125 eighth inch wall thickness and finish that sketch. That is the, uh, the shape, the profile of the hose or the pipe that we're going to now sweep with our 3D sketch. So come up here to where Start 2D Sketch is and we click the drop down and we start a 3D sketch. A couple of options to look at before we get into uh, creating this sketch. Uh, right now we have ortho mode turned on that keeps us aligned to the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, that'll keep things simple for now. The other option we need to consider, if we click on Line and we come out here and we right click in the screen, we see that Auto Bend is checked. We want Auto Bend turned on. That makes a uh, fillet or radius between each line that we draw so that it creates a nice smooth path that our sweep will follow. Uh, so come down here, click on the center of this circle to begin. Our lines, notice since we have ortho turned on, it snaps to each of these axes, the green y-axis, the red x-axis, the blue is the z-axis. Uh, so let's start on this z-axis. The main thing is that we are going out away from that plane uh, that we created our first sketch on. So coming along this z-axis, all we have to do now is enter a dimension. Let's make that three inches, press enter. Now we're going to go up on the green, that is the y-axis. Let's make that two and a half. Uh, come back towards us on the red, the x-axis. We'll make that five inches and press enter. Uh, let's go back down. Let's not enter a dimension right now. Let's see how we add dimensions to this if we need to. Uh, but come down and click and then come back along the blue z-axis click again, right click and say OK to finish. Uh, so now we have these two lines that are unconstrained. Uh, we need to add dimensions to them. Let's click on dimension. Now notice when I bring my cursor over this line, the line turns green but the, uh, the bends there do not. That is OK because when I click on it, now that brings the dimension to include both bends on the end of this. If we ever go in and delete either of those bends, that keeps that dimension point to point along that line. But let's give this a dimension of 2.5 inches as well. And then come get this bottom line, make it 3 inches. Uh, what we can do here, if we want this thing to 
be sure that we always have the same length on these two legs. Click that three inch dimension, go over here and click that first three inch dimension. See that D2 shows up because that is our original dimension D2. That FX three inches says that is now tied to there. Now same thing for this two and a half. Make sure that it is highlighted and we come over here, click on the other two and a half so that if I come in here and change that, uh, then they update together. But everything is black, everything is fully constrained. One more thing I want to do is fix this uh, bend dimension. Actually, let's leave it for now and see what happens and see why we need to change it. Uh, let's finish the sketch. We just come up here to sweep. It wants the profile first, so we go in and click the wall, the hoe of that hose. Select curve or edge now that we are to follow. Just click anywhere on that path and it selects it. Say OK. And now we see where these inside uh, insides of the bins are a little bit too tight, which is why I need to go back to my uh, 3D sketch, edit that 3D sketch, and let's make that dimension 0 0.75, 3 quarter inch. Notice it updates all of these others. They are all automatically, as we auto bend and go around, they're all automatically tied back to that first dimension. So I can change one of those and it changes all the rest. Finish that sketch and that looks a lot better. So we have a simple uh, 3D sweep through space. Uh, but let's see if we want to add something like that to an existing part. I started with just the extrusion and then I added that sweep to it. So let's start a new part and create something that looks like this. Again, file, new, standard part. I'm going to go back to 2D sketch. Let's put it on the XZ plane, create a rectangle. Let's make the rectangle four inches wide by two inches tall. There is my rectangle, say OK, finish that sketch, and let's extrude this thing up three inches. Now start on the front face, get the mouse over it to get that face highlighted. I can right click on it and say a new sketch, or we can come up here to the new sketch button. Uh, but let's draw, we don't have to draw a circle, let's draw a square. Let's make this 0.5 by 0.5. Just hit tab to move between the dimensions there. And now let's dimension the center of this square. We'll just stick with half inch. A half inch off the top and the side and finish. And that is the profile that we are going to sweep. Now let's go to 3D sketch. Create a line. Double check. Auto bend is turned on. Ortho mode down here is turned on. So we are ready to start drawing. Let's click in the center of that square. Come out along that blue Z axis, one inch. Come along the red X axis. Now let's leave the dimension off of that for right now. We're just coming out past the end of the block. Let's rotate to the right side so we can see that we're still within the face of this block. Come down so that we don't go off the bottom and go back to the front view and this time let's just leave that last endpoint uh, floating off the end of the block a little bit and say okay to finish that and now we are ready to um, add some dimensions and some constraints to get the rest of this exactly where we want it uh, the first thing let's do is go up here to a coincident constraint a coincident constraint will take that point and stick it to that face. Now let's start working the rest of this uh, the rest of this path relative to the end of the block. Now let's first work on the length of this line. Now I can dimension this line directly, but what I want to do is know that this endpoint of that line, though it's sort of out in space off of that arc. Let's move this dimension a little bit. There we go. Move to the other side so I can see that point. 
out in space a little better, I want to dimension that point off of this face. And let's give it a dimension of one inch. Now let's work along our path. Things tend to work best if we work along the path, go point to point. Uh, so now we can dimension this endpoint. Click that point, click that face. So now I have a dimension there. Let's make it half inch. When I put in a half inch dimension there, it kicked this line outside the block because what it really needs to be is negative 0.5. And that gets us back inside. That may be one of the few times in Inventor you ever actually use a negative dimension. Uh, but in this case, it is a directional dimension off of this face. Uh, let's give a dimension here to that point off of the bottom face. And notice this time it is a positive number and puts us a half inch up from the bottom. Now we have a complete path. Everything has turned black. That point is constrained to that face. I can finish my 3D sketch. Let's spin back around here and look. Click on Sweep. It automatically highlights that profile because it is one single simple closed profile. It is ready to select the curve, so we will do that. And say OK. Uh, here, as before, maybe I want to open up and that inside corner increase that uh, auto bend here. Let's take it from 0.25 to 0.5. Finish that sketch and now I have a smoother bend all the way around. There's a lot more that we can do with 3D sketch and sweep. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. But in the meantime, take this and uh, practice the basics. That is what we need to do is practice the basics, build these skills, uh, practice going, uh, taking your 3D sketch in, uh, in different directions. Don't just copy exactly what I've done here. Uh, just experiment with it a little bit. You may hit a wall. You may run into something that, uh, that doesn't exactly work. Uh, but take it, try it, see what you can do, and work on sweep with 3D sketch.